Well, hello, we friends. I did not see you sitting there. You startled me. But I'm so excited to see you. I was just sitting here coloring my Easter coloring page. I can't quite decide what colors to put for Alleluia. That's all right. I'll put it down for just a minute. I hope you remember me. I'm Pastor Lindsay. And I asked Miss Chris if I could come hang out with you all a little bit today because I missed hanging out with you. And she said, go for it, Pastor Lindsay. So the first thing I want to say is how super impressed I was about the Easter pageant. That was amazing. You all are phenomenal actors and actresses. I love how you like incorporated your own movements and ideas with the backgrounds and the story. I thought it was fantastic. And when you all said happy Easter at the end, it was a happy Easter. So I am so thankful for all of you. I bet you can guess that I love Easter, right? I mean, that seems probably pretty obvious, but I don't think you know all the reasons that I like Easter. I mean, I like when we get to celebrate at church. I like the hymns that we get to see, sing. I like the flowers everywhere, especially the hyacinths because they smell so good. I love Easter candy, especially Reese's eggs. Those are my favorite. I don't know what your favorite is. Those are my favorite. Um, but another reason that I love Easter is I love the story of Easter. And one of the things I love about the story of Easter and all of Holy Week before it is that it is full of just about every feeling or emotion you could ever have. And so it feels real to me. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of feelings. Like sometimes I feel really happy when it's a sunny day and it's nice outside. I feel super happy or when I see people I haven't seen in a while. Sometimes I feel sad when I start feeling like the pandemic might never end. It is going to end, but sometimes it feels like maybe it won't. And then I can start feeling sad about that. Sometimes I feel really confused or surprised, excuse me, or worried. There are so many ways to feel. And all of those ways are part of the Easter story. I have with me, I just happen to have here, this book called A Very Happy Easter, written by Tim Thornborough and illustrated by Jennifer Davidson. And it tells the story of all of Holy Week. So you already know most of this story, right? Because you helped tell it before. You know about Palm Sunday, when people were excited because Jesus was riding into town and they had their palms all around. And then you know about how he went to the garden to pray. And there are some people who didn't really like Jesus and he felt pretty sad and worried. And they sent the soldiers, right, that went and arrested him. And it made Jesus' friends really super sad and scared. They didn't know what was going to happen. And so when Jesus was on the cross and he died, they were really sad. They, they cried even. It t talks about that in the Bible. And then they buried Jesus in a tomb, right? And it says they buried Jesus in a rock tomb and put a big heavy stone over the door. Jesus' friends were so sad because they thought he was gone forever. They didn't think they were ever going to get to see him again. But then on the third day, early in the morning, some women came to the tomb. But the stone was rolled away. Jesus was not there. They were so confused. Can you make your best confused face? That was kind of a strange confused face. I bet you're making a good one. Some angels appeared and they said, he is not here. He has risen just as he promised. And the women were astonished. That means like amazed and surprised and excited all at the same time. Can you show me that face? I don't like it. Okay. So the women ran and told Jesus' friends what they had seen and what the angel had said. He has risen! But they didn't believe them. So they were feeling doubtful or skeptical or suspicious. Hmm, that's a totally different face, isn't it? Suddenly, Jesus was right there with them. He spoke to them. He ate with them. 
He showed them his hands and feet. He really was alive again. Jesus' friends were startled, afraid, amazed, confused. Look at all those different ways they felt. Everybody had a different thought about like, what, what does this mean? I'm excited. I'm sad. I'm worried. I don't know. Lots of different people, lots of different feelings. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. It's really me. I died and now I'm alive again. Now you can be friends with God forever. And Jesus' friends were happy, happier, the happiest they had ever been in their whole lives. Could you please show me that face? And you know that's more than a face. You know that's like spirit fingers and maybe jumping up and down, but just for a moment and sit down. Okay, cool. Then King Jesus sent his friends to tell everyone the good news. They happily spread the message all over the world. And now you, you have heard the message about how Jesus died and rose again so that we can be friends with God forever. What face will you make now? What face are you going to make? Are you excited about that? Are you like, huh, how am I going to tell other people about that? Are you thinking... Well, I do like that story. Hmm. Uh, or maybe you're like, this is amazing. I don't know. But I love that the disciples and Jesus' followers and the people, they had all different sorts of reactions, all different sorts of feelings about what had happened. And that reminds me that it's okay. Any feeling you're having, it's okay. And we can talk about that and process it. Sometimes we got to talk about all the feelings. Even when we don't, don't have, quite have words for them, we might have faces for them. We might have ways that we could draw how we're feeling or move our bodies to express it. But no matter what that feeling is or feelings, God is with you and God loves you. And do you know what I say to that? Alleluia. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was going to stop, but I didn't. Friends, I am so excited to be with you today. There's going to be a song in just a moment. I cannot wait to sing along with it. You won't see me singing. You can just imagine the faces that I might be making. And I'll imagine the faces that you are making. But I'm so, so excited to see you. Will you join me for a prayer? Will you get in whatever prayerful position you want to be in today? I'm going to do this and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out and repeat after me. Loving God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Easter. Thank you for giving us all sorts of feelings and for loving us no matter what. Help us to share the good news of Jesus. Amen. Bye, my friends. It was so good to see you.